20 years ago today, a destructive and deadly trail of tornado tore Nashville apart. Seven people were killed. And millions of dollars in damage. But as we continue our Trail of Tornadoes coverage, Chris Conti brings us one story of hope amid the horror of that day. Well, I'm like, okay, well, it's going to be a bad storm. But these clouds up here, I mean, anniversaries right mean different storm. things to different people. It's surreal in a lot of ways. It's why 20 years and I'm back. To a vet right, April 16th is more than just a date. The first week in April was the due date. She was 16 days past her due date. The vet found herself inside Nashville General Hospital on this very day 20 years ago. <laughs> Outside, a storm was brewing over the city of Nashville. The sound, the trees, the, uh, the, the crackling of the glass. Shattering. What she could not see from the maternity ward was the EF3 tornado touching down blocks away. Let's go, let's go. I had just given birth in a tornado. The trees were gone. I walked out almost into a, a war zone, it felt like, you know. Today is her son Journey's birthday. It is also the 20 year anniversary since the storm hit. We all have, uh, have experienced, I believe, uh, times in our lives where you just say, wow. Wow, and that was mine. Yvette thinks often not just about the life that came into the world that day, but the one that was lost. Uh, I want to acknowledge that person that died that day. Uh, and I gave birth that day. 20 years later, she is still grateful. Like miraculous, healthy, uh, amazing miracle happened on that day. There were other miracles that day as well. Dozens of young lives were spared at this daycare as it took a direct hit from the storm. The roofs, the walls all torn off of the Grace M. Eaton Child Care Center on Pearl Street. Y'all see we God took care of us, Jesus took care of us and it's kept us safe. We don't have any hurt children, anything. I just thank Jesus for his goodness and keeping all these kids and everybody safe. Our cameras were inside the building just minutes after the twister passed. I said, everybody get back to the hallway and just in the nick of time. And I put my arms out and at that point, that glass all blew out, but I don't have one cut. And these kids are fine. 20 years later, the Gray Sam Eaton Center is abandoned. Parting messages in the playground make no messages of the horror which unfolded here on that day. His birth announcement says, uh, born in a storm, but destined for calm. As for Yvette, this is the first time she has ever shared her story. And he is my, my tornado baby. <laughs> He's the tornado baby. And I'm grateful. As strange as it may seem, for Yvette, this is an anniversary worth remembering. That miracles happen. Miracles happen. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.